apparently in uh, yes. in the game so not really a big deal but I'm happy with it we yeah. is I don't I'm, I'm not sure if that's a predator badge but one of the players that just showed up has one of the most coveted badges in the game that I can see anyways you have two badges you have the 4k badge and you have the 20 bomb badge 4k as in you're doing 4,000 you did 4,000 damage in the game and 20 bomb yep. as in you got 20 kills not assists and kills no 20 kills straight up well, we're into game number four. This is yeah. back on to stormy map where storms are brewing. See what I did there? I know, I know. I'm just so clever. Have to be done. Um, hey. Obviously, you... hey! <laughs> this is what you do to me. <laughs> this is this is this is what you do to me. Mate, this isn't a first rodeo. If you're surprised by now, then that's on you. <laughs> Uh, honestly, yeah, it's true. It, it's been a minute, though. It's been a minute. We'll get that look. You know what? We'll talk about that later because we already have a couple of fights at the beginning of this game. TC, Lords of PvP, Arc Star. See any damage? Boom. Nope. Nothing whatsoever. Just gonna push the team away. I mean, look, I believe you shouldn't be fighting that early because you don't have loot. You don't have no. anything. You can't really heal. Just kind of wait it out a little bit. Now, one thing I haven't like massively observed, I, I kind of did in the previous game a tiny bit. If there's a familiarity where teams um, have dropped, if it, if it kind of echoes what they did in the first um, game of, of this map. Uh, again, I noticed it with World's Edge, so there was a little bit of a similarity, but I don't know if you will observe that anything in, in, in this map. Um, I mean, look, uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not really not really sure if they would can... have won. Fair, sure. fair. Yeah, because I mean, if the path is too far, maybe not, but... That's true. I would, I would say, yeah, usually you would stick to the same spot, you'd stick to the same rotation, you play the same way. You don't really want to be changing it up between every single no. game. You kind of want to try to stick to a specific strategy and see if it works out for you. Team Cave, though, being somewhat put under a little bit of pressure, they have a... a solid amount of control but they're not the only team in there in terms of there's three as far as you know six by three gonna get some shots in their direction just a couple of shots here and there not enough to get a knock not enough to force a push on the enemy team here there's some squads drop bit by bit astralis two of them have dipped but the third mm. player i'm not really sure what his plan is or what he's up to but Viktorov is just maybe holding the line a little bit, making sure that no he one's might, chasing his team. He might not be confident to move Content. out, right? It could be the kind of thing where, look, I'm I'm stuck here. If I can right disengage, right I will, but don't worry about me, guys. I'll see what I can do. Let's see what they can do, Oxic. Yeah, you prepare that peacekeeper. You prepare that. Kinda zoom in maybe, get that choke ready, but no. Skitty. Looking for someone with that L star. Not able to find that thing just yeah, okay, finally gets his eyes on someone, maybe a little bit more, but backup is there, the cover is there, but they know that one person at least shield. is heavily damaged, so might be thinking about a push, but the problem is Skitty doesn't even have cells. Also Imperium, I think we have four squads. Yeah, it's now four squads. Yeah, because uh, ESC, they, they want to join in on the fun. They've heard the shots and they're like, oh, we will, we'll take a bite of that. So Team Cave, they're going to be have to be even more careful than they've already been. Exactly, and the problem is with, with so many teams being in this area, that just, that invites more and more people. That invites more and more teams to come to the same area again. So, TC decided, you know what? We don't want any guys in this area. Meanwhile, Asterix, champions of the last game, and Asterix, the Molisher, get pushed, almost surviving. They come in for the third party, they come in for the cleanup, they come in for the kills. They will be able to take the loot. ESC now leave Nyx on his own. He's going to be running away. Heading towards the direction of Astralis, but not sure. What he planned on doing there, considering the area is already been looted. Sam is back. Where is he back from? Does it matter where he's back from? 
What's more important is that he's back and he's ready to rumble. Skin bad, Sam's back. Low gold. Join the forces together. Fruit do dragon in their own way as well. Look to guard their territory, make sure that they have all angles covered. I, I feel like within reason this is a little bit more of a just a tiny bit more of a passive start to the game. Um we've certainly seen a couple of engagements, but nothing as as heavy as we've seen in the first three games so far, but now one is breaking out. Well, that's how we'll look see here at Slayer. He gets the first one. Nice bumps with the PK there. Quite a lot of damage. Absolutely love it. I would, I honestly, the, the PK is like the one kind of shotgun just because of like the flicks that you kind of do with it when you're <laughs> going for those shots. It's just, it's just insane, man. Getting like a 99 uh, pump with just a fur uh, with one shot or damage. Pump yeah. Quite a decent bit. But the massive these uh, these days is just absolutely broken as well. Let's see, Charles. Bit of damage here and there. Bit of damage here and there. Not enough to go for kills though. Not enough to go for the pushes. Bloodhound, Wraith, and Valkyrie. It is a little bit difficult for them to go for the push, unless they try and be a little bit creative, where Requiem would go in, maybe kidnap someone, bring him back, yeah. and then go for the kill that way. But other than that, now nah, they save your TP, maybe use it as an escape to get third party or something like that. Bogey over there. Exactly, exactly, because we've seen it far too many times right in the previous game, where, uh, oh my god, I forget who it was. They went in aggressively, they ended up getting third party, and boom. So yeah, certainly uh, holding out, being a little bit disciplined and using your abilities. Big part, big part is Loba Legends. Let's continue to play as they normally have, getting aggressive, looking hungry for those kills. They look hungry for a lot of points, and they're gonna need a lot of points if they are to catch up, if they are to get to the same level as Loba Legends. 6x3, a shot, let's get it, right we have the drop. Now, we've got the rockets, maybe might have been able to get the stun there. Wendon's already on the flank, Wendon's already in a very, very good location. Forcing the bubble out of the Gibby, which means... Oh, very nice there from Red Queen. He gets the first knock. Lifeline will be second. Oh my god. That is filthy damage coming out from Red Queen. Lifeline thinking about going for the revive, but didn't help her whatsoever there. When did now fall back? But doesn't look like he's going to be given an opportunity by Fall Guys Simulator. Victoron will be the second fall. Looks like he's seen in a fight of their own. A little bit of damage here and there, but not enough to get the knockdown, not enough to go for the trade. Cheeks, meanwhile, instantly forced to go the point to try and escape your freeman style. Dodging and ducking, bobbing and weaving left to right with that flat line, trying to reload, but yeah. he is seen. Able to get those kills. Getting third party, the kills are coming in. Meanwhile, Kank decides, nah, I don't want to have anything to do with this whatsoever. I want to survive. But look at the plan. He ulted, he went on the opposite side, and he's gonna go behind them. Maybe for a flank, maybe for a revive, maybe for a respawn. We don't know, but the fight is still ongoing, Imperium. This is a hot spot. This is the hot spot. Merciless trying to hold on out, still up as a full squad. Linksy for a rip. Linksy's able to heal up in just the right time. Gets a lot of information. They're stuck a bit inside the corner, down on the low ground, utilizing the rocks in all the right ways. Now ah, the shots break out. Beats and hunt. Time is ticking down. They're in the center of the circle, though. That's the thing. They're in the center, and they know that they can't fray too far away from where they stand. They can't take too much control, and finding that balance is so important. There's still eight squads left. Target so squads indeed. Meanwhile, if you look at the Strahlers, if you look at uh, Lope, ooh, Lopa uh, legends are just chasing them. But I think the Strahlers are going for the revive, so Fall Guys Simulator here. They can wait for the revive to go through, and then they could go for the kills. The respawn is there, and they already started focusing. They get the armor cracked already on the Valkyrie. Meanwhile, the third person thinking, why? Why, oh why, was I revived? Why was I brought back into this mess? I do not want to be here. <laughs> 
Fall Guys Simulator looking good and he's the new kill leader. Currently five kills for his team alone. They're getting farmed, man. They're just yeah. getting farmed. Global Legends, man. Making it look too easy. Yeah, they are. They have five kills. They are in the bottom eight at the moment. They should be able to add uh, Valko. Nah. Nah, if I was the Bloodhound, I'd just leave the game. I do not want to be revived again. <laughs> I mean, it's low key toxic, but you're not wrong. Do you want to die again? You're just giving no. the enemy teams yeah, so I know. many points, man. And like, and like I said, and by the way, when he's crafting right there, he's crafting a portable respawn uh, respawn yep. beacon probably. For for this time. And they should be able to go for the revive. Meanwhile, we go over to Church Hymns. And we leave Church Hymns in the dust as they get absolutely demolished by the local legends. But now the local legends are in the sights of who, I wonder, is trying to take the fight with them. It is in DCSC who have been able to respawn their teammate and come back to their full strength, but their horizon still hasn't looted. And they're just forcing local legends to tank that damage in the zone. Yeah, great play by Enatolian disengaged earlier on as you correctly pointed out and back up in the full squad. The circle has shifted. Seven teams are left, 20 players. Merciless still up as a three-person team. Rift, Linuxi, and Ver. They do have a short distance to make it into the edge of the circle here on the southwestern side, but there's a number of teams around them. That's something that they will want to consider, and I'm not even sure they're aware of it. See if they are merciless. And then and a half to the zone, so they still have a decent bit of time. They're very, very close to it, but whoo, we got four squads in the vicinity, baby. That's gonna be very difficult. I'm pretty sure only one of them is gonna make it in there, though. Considering the fact that out of the squad, only one squad is a duo. Yeah. Only one squad to do it. Meanwhile, ooh, Linuski laying down. What? I want to say. But four. No one's going to help him. No one's going to push. No one's going to save him. And he will get taken down. Rift, Linuxi. These are still up as a duo. Six squad left, 17. Another one has gone down. Going to be able to spot out his opponents. Great use of the ability right now. Also going to watch your backs, right? It, it, this is what I love about Apex Legends, and I know you're familiar with it. It's so fast paced, and you just got to watch 360 degrees nine times out of ten because you cannot be comfortable at where you lie. Yeah, exactly. And now with the new ski, he lost the team, and now he's about to lose himself as well. Let's see. He actually managed to go for the armor swap, but instantly gets headshot. Meanwhile, you go for the kill, you go outside, you go for the push, you got third party, that's right! And it is gonna be Reza who is on the hunt for those points, on the hunt for those kills. Going for that push, the flat line. Let's scan this area. We know how much that jitter aim can help you out with the flat line. Let's see if they're gonna be able to secure the kill. It's 50 seconds on the clock. They are still hmm. trying to chase him down. But it looks like they decide, nah, we don't want to lose it. Looks like the other team is just going to only. I don't know if they are. Astralis also going to try. So you have three teams that are going to be coming in from exactly the yep. same location. And then there's one kind of somewhat gatekeeping. Then on the southwestern end of the circle. Yeah, this is this is going to heat up in the next 10, 15 seconds. Of storm. Yeah, and look at that. The bubble coming up from the Gibby. You see that? Okay. Yeah, you see that cover? That means you can reposition pretty damn easily. That means the Slayer will be able to go in along with the rest of the Reza lineup. Meanwhile, beautiful. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. This is a slow walk up. They can hear them crafting. They don't know that they're there. They managed to catch them off guard. Are you telling me they're not going to be able to pick up any They better. Up they there better. Whatsoever. They better. Come on bit of damage but they will be able to pick up the loot for free though hope the zone doesn't help but oh no the horizon all big puts them all together that's what they but are they gonna be able to go and the utility doesn't have to think over the push they go for the damage 
Point. Let's see. Fluid. On the left side, his boots are pushing on the right. Vermic beam out! Switches to the PK! Vermic pump dances around. Very good movement, but he needs Fall Guys Simulator to help him out. He needs assistance and he needs it now. The right gonna be jumping in with the flatlands. It seems to be was already done. The 1v1 One is there. Top this. 2. For Lobo Legends. Good job by Lobo Legends. They're looking for another win. They're looking for is, another top spot on board. This is clearly their tournament. This is clearly their victory. Despite us not having an update on the standings, which hopefully we will have categorically at the end of the event, uh, I, th I think it, it, it's pretty obvious to say. Now, Reza, they're still up All as right, a full squad, ultimate, really? so that's pretty beneficial. However, it's 3v3. Let's go, go here, we've got here. violence to do. Now Reza. Let's see exactly the last thing is. Obviously they should have been able to hear the fights going on. And now they're going to try and see if they can focus on the high ground here. But the high ground, very tiny bit of it that is going to be in the zone here. And there we go. Both teams know where exactly where they are. But obviously the advantage is for Mobile Legends with them being in the zone. Reza, they have a battery, so obviously they can just throw down a heat shield, go around somewhere and be able to reposition. But the question is, where do you reposition? Because the only cover, the only building, is the one that's in the hands of the opposing team. So Exactly. Unless they manage to crack someone's armor, unless they manage to get a knock on someone, it's going to be very difficult for the, side, uh, for the side of Reza to go for a push here. Oh, look oh, this it. angle. This, yeah, this angle is very, very scary and it's very hard for you to get hit while you're in this cover as well. It's very easy for you to hit, but very hard for you to get hit. And I like this. Loban Legends aren't taking it for granted, right? They're, they're aware that, yeah, okay, we have the circle control, but we, we can't give them an opening. We can't make it easy for them. We need to keep applying the pressure. We need to keep slowing them down and it will be our game. I agree. Ooh. Not seeing anything. And we're back. There you go. Yeah. We're back. Just before the last fight. Just before the, the end there, of yeah. game four here on Stone Point. Give me ultimate to kind of just push them away from one angle. The guys are on. Okay, so we have a Valkyrie ultimate. Uh, is where in the world are you going to land? And you're just open season for the side of the local legends they're gonna be going for the fight very risky player that's a good one down already the second one should be able to go down very very shortly easy trade easy kill easy life easy points and it's just all going to go over in favor of local legends oh or not there's a trade it's a 1v2 they're gonna be coming out okay one pump two pump no damage whatsoever though information being given over yeah, 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 they're gonna be able to help him out. But the massive hit this close range whips everyone, but Lobo Legends still with the numbers advantage. Will be the second game of the day. And that should easily mean they break the hunt 